Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Memories of Macedonia. And tonight, what I'm going to show you is something that I had in Macedonia for the first time with my good friend Kathy. And we were in um, a city called Prelep. And Prelep is um, famous and known for its two craggy mountains, think Twin Peaks. Um, there's a, a fortress on top and there's a monastery and it's really medieval, the whole thing. There is also a, a, a large statue of Alexander the Great. And, but they're also famous for a restaurant called the Macedonian House. And um, it's a traditional looking house from inside to out. And what makes this restaurant really special is all the recipes are like what your mama made, what your grandma made, what Baba or Micah made. And trust me, the first time I went to this restaurant, I really made a pig of myself because I couldn't decide what to order. The table was ridiculous. So the last time I was there, this past summer, I was with my friend Kathy, and we had our traditional, you know, starters and salads and whatnot. And then what I ordered was something called Peleshko Tafje, which really translates into chicken in a clay pot. Now, a lot of national dishes in Macedonia are cooked in clay pots, and there's just something about the flavor, and I couldn't put my finger on it. What is it? Is it rustic? Is it the way it cooks? So I did some research, and what I found out on several websites is that when you cook in a clay pot, a lot of um, moisture or liquid does absorb um, out goes out rather and your vegetables especially or your meats um, retain their vitamins retain their flavor and almost concentrates so you're not losing um, the flavor and you're not losing the nutrients and the vitamins as a matter of fact you're gaining them because everything stays in that clay pot so vegetables are amazing in here anyways I digress getting back to Peleshko Tafje it is Pardon me, it is cooked in a clay pot, and it's a one-pot meal. It's really dead easy again, and I'll be right back to show you what we're going to need to make this really succulent meal. My mouth is watering. Be right back. Okay, I have all my ingredients that we're going to need to make our Peleshko Tafje. Now, Peleshko is chicken, so one of the stars of the meal is chicken. <clears throat> now, what I have here is I've taken the skin off of some uh, chicken thighs. At um, the Macedonian House restaurant, they um, make this with diced up or chopped up pieces of chicken or chicken breast. Um, but I've had this also at a different restaurant called Belvedere, and I kind of like the rustic feel of the big chicken pieces in here. It's your choice. You can use chicken breast and chop it up in pieces and little chunks and, and put it in here, or you can um, use chicken thighs as I am. You can keep the bone in, take the bone out. You know, it's up to you. Um, this meal, there's eight here. This will easily serve a family of four. Um, this is going to stretch over a couple days for me because I live alone, um, but this will stay in the fridge um, once it's cooked um, perfectly fine for about two days. So I'm using chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast. It's up to you. Now the second star of um, this is mushrooms. And what I'm using is already the pre-washed and sliced cremini mushrooms. And I have two packs here. They're your standard grocery store um, pack of about 230 grams, 227 around there. If you prefer white mushrooms, go ahead and use white mushrooms. Um, but I just think these have much more fur. And under my chicken, I have our other ingredients and our clay pot, of course. Now when you're cooking with a clay pot, um, here's a little hint. When you first get it, soak it, preferably overnight. Soak it in a tub of water in the sink, just so um, this won't crack once you put it in the oven. So what I have here are three vine ripened tomatoes. Two will suffice it's to taste, it's up to you. And I have three um, hot banana peppers. Again, you can use blago, which is sweet or... or um, uh, red pepper, it's up to you on the peppers, but the, traditionally it's with the hot pepper. I have um, some garlic. I have four cloves of garlic, or to your taste. And I have two chicken bouillon cubes. 
I have some ground pepper, I have some oregano, and I have a, a mixture of paprika and um, hot chili flake. If you don't want the hot chili flake, you don't have to put it in here. I like a bit of the bite that it gives in here. Um, you're also going to need water to cover, and you may, if you wanted, you can put a little drizzle of oil, but I don't think it's necessary, so I don't add it in. Again, this is also optional. If you want to thicken it up even more, you can um, put in a can of mushroom gravy uh, with the water. So that is all we have. That's all the ingredients. Told you, really simple. And I'll be back to show you how it all puts together. Be right back. Hey gang, I'm back to show you everything in the clay pot. What I did do actually is I just split my thighs so I can just, um, how do you say, distribute them more evenly. Um, <clears throat> but that's the great thing about cooking. You're at the helm. You can decide what you want. Do you want chicken breast in here? Whole cut? Thighs? your choice um, it, I know it looks like a lot in here right now but don't forget the mushrooms will reduce significantly and so will the tomatoes this really will reduce down and thicken up I have um, filled it with water to cover and this is gonna go into a slow oven um, started off around 350 just to get it going and then you can adjust the heat accordingly you can turn it down or turn it up as you need it but the great thing about the clay pot is they, they retain the heat and they cook evenly but this is something that you you don't really want to rush um, just take your time let all the flavors meld now something I didn't talk about in the last segment was salt I didn't add salt because there is salt in the bouillon and um, if you're using the, the gravy, there is salt in the gravy as well. So as I always say, it's better to taste your food and add accordingly. So when this is um, when the chicken is cooked, obviously, I'm going to give it a taste and see if I need to add salt. Because as I always say, it's easier to add salt than remove it. So this is going to go in the oven, 350 to start, and I'm going to slowly cook this, let everything simmer down, let everything melt together, and it's going to be really good. It's so simple, guys. You have to try this. All right, so we'll be back when it's done. Hey, all I'm back for a quick moment. My Pileshko Tafche is in the oven, starting to cook away. Um, I just wanted to come back and talk to you about um, when you're cooking in a clay pot or anything that's in the oven, you want to keep an eye on it because you're going to have to stir this once in a while. You don't want um, the top to get crunchy or, or burnt. Keep it stirring as it simmers down. Keep it going. If you want to, you can um, cover it with tin foil. Um, or something once it starts reducing down but for the main part just leave it let it do its thing give it a stir once in a while babysit it now I know in the last segment I said I split my thighs come on guys grow up <laughs> am I the only one that caught that um, what I simply meant was that I cut the the chicken thigh um, against the bone so I have one piece that's boneless and one piece that will have bone in it um, again you can use the chicken breast cut up in pieces that's great if especially if you have small children you don't want them dealing with bones and and uh, mess and things like that then go with the the chicken breast cut into cubes or strips it's, it's your choice so everything's in the oven at the end of cooking, we're just going to put some fresh parsley on top. You can add some fresh Balkan style yogurt. Um, and your sides, of course, you can start off with a salad or a soup. It's up to you. Um, it's a really easy dish and it's really, really good. I hope you guys try it. Really, I really do. If you like the videos, please subscribe and hit like. Okay, so we'll be right back when all is done. Hey guys, welcome back. This is the end product. Um, as you can see, um, it, it, it's thickened right up. And um, there's lots of mushrooms in here. There's lots of chicken in here. I've added some yogurt on top, which is starting to melt, actually, because it's um, quite warm. And I tasted this, and you know what? Guess what? It did not need any salt. Um, the seasonings were perfect. 
So again, it's important to taste your food. I have some uh, nice, beautiful crusty bread um, with my yogurt, and this is going to be really, really good. Again, guys, um, it's versatile, so you know the, the the cut of chicken that you use it's up to you um the spice and how much you use it's up to you but this is really thick and it came out so nice if you find that your um dish did not come out so thick you may want to add maybe a tablespoon of flour um, mixed with a little bit of the broth and then pour it back into the cooking pot um, to make sure that it thickens up but it should thicken up so guys really I'm gonna enjoy this it's so hearty it's so homey the chicken is actually breaking up because it's like so tender oh there's a nice big piece there so guys enjoy thanks for watching I hope you try this take care see you soon ciao